Hi everyone, Cindy here. How are you doing? Um, it is morning, so good morning. I hope you have your coffee with you. Um, today we're going to talk about chronic pain again. And this, the topic for today is anger. Um, I know as I went through this whole process, um, there were so many feelings that came up along the way. And angry was one of, the, one of them. And I was angry about a lot of things. So what I did is these are strips that a friend of mine sent to me. Um, just strips because she knows I love to play with things like this. What I did is I took all these and I just started writing down what I was angry at. Okay, so there's lots of them here. Um, I'm going to go ahead. This journal, oh God, I haven't worked in this journal in forever. It's a journal that I've used for wipe off, watercolor paint, um, ugh, get back here, just whatever. And I need to find a page. I thought I saw one back here. No. I need to find a page that I can work this work with this. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to take all of my angry, angry, my angry, <laughs> my anger. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. Actually, I don't know if I want to cover that up. Let's keep looking. Uh oh, that I could cover up. Let me see here. Well, let's just do. I'm going to cover up one of these funky. Yeah, let's cover this one up. We're good here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I took the time this morning and I just sat down for, it took me 25, 20 minutes, not even. Um, and what I did is I wrote down everything I was angry about. Um, why do I deserve this? Uh, why do I need to, you know, why do I deserve to be in pain? Um, I had to fight workers comp in the company to make sure they did what they needed, meaning I had to constantly follow up with them. It was all about the paperwork. I need this paper. I need that paper. I need a paper from the company, but I don't have this paper. It was insane. Um, I need papers from the doctor. I need this, that, and the other thing. And it, had I not kept up with it, I don't know where I'd be. Um, angry at the company. I felt like they left me down. Angry at having to take so many meds. Angry, feeling like they wanted to use me as a test subject. Um, for example, for my lower back, you know, we kept trying all these shots. And it got to the point where it was 36 shots. And the doctor's like, well, next time we'll try. I said, no, we're done. We're done. I am not a pincushion. I've had enough. I, I, that really made me upset. Um, angry that chronic pain messes both with the body and the mind. Um, I'm actually angry at the pain. Angry at myself. I could have asked my peer to help me move that equipment. Instead, I did it by myself and it was that split second decision that put me here. Um, angry at not being able to do things with my grandkids I could before. Angry that I lived in denial for a few years trying to just be the old me. Um, I, you know, I would think, oh, it's not that bad. It can't be that bad. Oh, you know, I'm, it's all good. Yeah, no. Um, angry with the doctors. Um, I was really upset with the surgeons. As far as I was concerned, they were supposed to go in and fix me, and I would go back to work. That didn't happen. Um, angry that people doesn't, people don't understand the pain because it's on the inside. They can't see it. So a lot of people, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I say I'm empathetic, oh, okay. You know, people don't understand. They just don't. Um, angry at the financial strain, um, workers comp and the company could care less. Again, that's all about the paperwork. Um, angry, I had to go back and forth. Oh, I had to go to this quack. It was workers comp's doctor and I had to go back and forth to him constantly. Every time I went in, I told him what was wrong. He, you know, finally after, I don't know, it was like 20 trips. Um, he sent a note into workers comp. It is what it is. She is saying what she has. It's an issue. And finally, they left me alone. Um, angry at the loss of a great income. I had a career. I was 24 years into it. Uh, six more years and I would have retired. And I lost that. Angry that I was stuck at home while everyone else was living life. And that one really got to me when I very first... Um, when I very first went out on disability to get the surgery and get fixed so I could go back to work. Um, I just felt like I was lost. I was by myself and you know everybody else is having life and here I sit in massive pain. That's not fair. I was pissed. Um, angry again about losing my career. Um, 
<laughs> I'm very angry and I still am angry about this at workers comp. I would not be in chronic pain situation if they, if they had not taken 14 months to approve the surgery. By the time they approved it, the damage was already done. So what I'm going to do is I decided I'm going to take these things that I'm angry about and we're going to put them all down over this page. Um, I'm going to glue them all in. I want to do them face up because, you know, even though I'm not going to be able to see them when I'm done, I'll know they're here. So this is what's going to happen. I'm basically going to go through and glue them all down, right? And then when I get done gluing them down, we're going to take some paint. Um, I actually found my, I haven't seen this in quite a while, my Target paint the other day. Um, it's called Waverly, and it's by Plaid. And I'll be honest with you, I really love this paint, so I don't know why it kind of disappeared on me. But um, cleaning my studio the other day, I found this, so I got it out, and I'm going to use that today. So we're just going to play around with that paint. Um, I'm going to, you know, just do my thing like I normally do. Um, what I'd like you to do while, you know, you're watching me, if, if you have time, is sit down with just some scraps of paper. That's all this is, is just um, scrap strips, basically. And write this down. What are you angry at? What what really upsets you? What makes you so mad you just want to scream about your chronic pain? And I'll tell you, once you do this, it's amazing. When I first started it, um, started writing them down, I was like one or two things, and then it just kept continuing, and it got going and going and going. I could have written probably 15 more of these, 20 more of these, but I decided this was enough. So go ahead, take little scraps, write down what you're angry about, and then get out your art journal, stick them all down, and let's make a great page out of it. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's get going. I'm going to throw on some music, probably a movie, whatever. And I'm going to get moving on this, so I hope you guys enjoy.
everybody I just I had fun playing with this page and you know while I was um, playing with it I was actually listening to some music and I was thinking I have glue all over my fingers I was thinking about you know I have had all I can't I have to say I had all that anger every now and then it, it still pops up but nothing like it used to be and you know honestly what I my lesson that I've learned about about this whole issue is it's actually taught me to stop, relax, um, just take every moment as you can, take it one day at a time. Um, good days and bad days, they're all going to be here. There's nothing I can do about the really, really bad days. I can just listen to my body and rest. But, you know, when I look at this, I can still see a little bit here and there coming through. But when I look at this now, I don't look at a page of... Arr. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Let's create your own sunshine. And that's where I'm at with this. Um, these are just some die cuts that I have. Actually, stamps. That's a die cut. That's a stamp. That's a stamp. And then this is just something that was purchased somewhere in one little group of something. So, um, yeah, I think I'm done with it. I don't really want to do any more. I just kind of want to leave it as is. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I would love to see what you do as far as your anger page. Um, please share it with me. I would absolutely love to see it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And as always, take care. Dental hugs. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.